Hello everyone, this is Ali. Uh, I will upload few videos, they will be short videos about uh, I should say tricks or tips that you can use here and there on Visual Studio or anything else I find in future that will help you shorten your job. Now, every time we create a mono develop script, we will have something like, let me call it test. We will have something with some structure and we always use that structure. So, enter, and it will be from mono behavior. On top of that, we may use using system collection and using system collection generic. Most of the time you use these. Sometimes you use using Unity Editor. Okay. And here we have some regions calling this one uh, public variables and end region. Another region calling it private variables and region then we will have uh, for example void start then void update and that's the minimum uh, let's add void late update here too Okay, and we can put them on another region, calling it methods, and we can call it uh, private methods, and and region. I like, I really love regions. That's one trick for you, and one for public methods. Methods and end region. And I said end region. So when I close the regions, I have just this. Okay? Now, uh, it may be only one or two minutes of typing these guys, but you can just use file, export template. And from here, yes, you need to save the assembly item template, and it's from C sharp. And then choose the proper. If I can find it, scripts proper uh, script, and then call it. Uh, yeah, using the Unity Engine Editor, we don't need them because it's in the template. Next, we call it, for example, Mono. Okay, and this is the minimal Mono template, whatever. We can put an image as icon and some preview image, whatever. We save it in Documents, Visual Studio, and my exported templates with the same name as template name, okay? And we're finished. Now, each time, if I right-click on this guy, ah, come on. This happens sometimes, okay? And new items. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Still thinking, okay? The sale. You see it on Visual Studio on items on top, it's mono. If I choose it and let's say mono one and add, mono one will look exactly like the template I sent out. That's one way of shortening the job. Now, if you happen to have the sharper as I done, Alt Insert, 
will bring up a menu that you can choose from. Uh, there is a way to shorten your job here too. For that, you should go to uh, Resharper, Template Explorer, and here you go into File Template and hit Add. Uh, don't forget, in this uh, template, you don't have any IntelliSense. So I just copy this guy from here and paste it here. But every time we do it, we don't want the script to be called test. What will I do? I will define a variable here and choose the macro. And in macro, I will choose current file name without extension and description uh, let's call it just oh yeah here default file name I will say it mono okay and description is minimal mono template okay and just file save uh, save all and save it okay now here I see it here not in quick list I will drag and drop it in quick list if I now it called insert I will see minimum mono template okay and uh, if I move it higher then I will see it on top okay but can choose it and hit edit I don't like it I will say it's just mono hit control s to uh, control shift s yeah control shift s and now I see if I hit alt insert mono and I will name it blah and it's opening no, not blah that text. Sorry, 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 sorry. It will be CS here. Mano. CS. Okay. And again, save it. And delete this guy, please. Okay. So if I now alt insert mono call it blah, it will be a C sharp script by default and it exactly looks like the text the test uh, sorry test the script and the name is blah if I change it to something like MMM and hit insert it will call MMM but it won't name it here okay so no and the only thing you need of insert enter for example player input enter enter and there we go we have a script from mono behavior that has all the methods you need in a region just the way I like it so from here on on the RPG core tutorial I will always use this alt insert enter something enter enter and I will have it okay don't get confused uh, I will mention to watch this video in the very first tutorial I will upload after this and it's a very nice trick it's a very nice and fast day believe me even uh, some guys even in uh, big tutorial making companies like uh, 3d boss for example still use this alt insert class and then he goes to delete namespace shift tab this guy and then go man you know that's up to you also if you want a namespace you can do something like this on a behavior and then using System dot collection using 
system dot collection dot generic and using unity editor and call save this guy again we sharper template explorer buy templates new template and uh, let's add some stuff here um, and open user idle in my job easier just copy paste these guys from here to here okay and then control a control s going to template control a control v no not there control z here control v okay now here assets i will call this guy name space and this guy to name name a space of course will be I had some default namespace for current file. Yeah. And again, name will be current file name without extension. Okay. Remember, this is not text. This is CS. And it will be mono again. But yeah, that's it. In description, I will call mono uh, namespace. Okay, and then Control Shift S, I will drag it here. Close this guy. Close this guy. Close this guy. And if I no, if open user mono with namespace, I will call it mono two. I will see that. Uh, here we go. The namespace is assets because it's under assets. It's the current namespace we have and it's mono2. Okay? That's how you can get namespace in here. Now, you may say, hey, we won't use these two lots. Mostly, we barely use Unity Editor. Well, if you have Resharper, Alt, Enter, and remove unused directives in file, bam, they will go. So I like to have them, and I prefer to do the scripting. And let me show you an example of that. If I have any, I believe I have any. I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, managers, no. Helpers won't have any. No, I don't have any. I believe I don't have any. No. Oh, yeah, here. Okay. Uh, Sim view camera follower. I finished this script. I had done everything I wanted with this script, and I'm sure I won't come back to this script. And I have an unused directive. I will move my mouse or my cursor I should say to the line alt enter enter and it will remove it and save it so it won't harm you to have those unused uh, using statements on top of the file because it will save you a little of time uh, one more thing that I like to have is another using called using uh, system link C delete S and now I will add it to my current mono by editing it and I will add it at the end. And by the way I done control shift S to save it and edit the other one and then again 
control V, control shift S, and I'm done. Okay? By any chance, if you want to, for example, add it to class, this is the class. You see, namespace is default namespace for the current file. Okay? And header, if you have any type of header, it will be added there. And uh, for that, I can add link if I want, but I don't want it. Okay. So, oh, by the way, you see here we had done this and. That's a nice trick. No, I will add it here, and you see why I, uh, it's useful. When you put and in front of M. Okay. If I hit Alt Insert and Alt M now, it's the same thing. Okay. For example, for here, I can say Alt M and Alt N. Okay. And if I say now Alt Insert, if I keep Alt down, you think M, you see it's mono, but you see that uh, because I had mono, it won't activate this one. Okay? So this time, Alt Insert, keeping the Alt down and hit N. And bam, I have class with namespace. Okay? So, a uh, few things to remember. .cs needs to be here. And I don't like edit tables. And you see why now in one moment. Now, you remember this red box appears when I hit Alt Insert and the name. Now, this red box appears here telling me that, hey, I can change this name if I want to. But I don't want that. So what can I do is just uncheck this edit table, save it. Now if I hit Alt Insert, Enter with a name, the script is ready. And I, if I want to change the name, now I have to change it by myself. So few things to remember. When you define a variable, uncheck the edit table. The file extension should be the one, the one you want. And putting AND here will help you for a shortcut. The name you put here is the name you see in the, uh, in the list. You can drag and drop items in the list to put them, for example, like this. And I will keep the monotone namespace at the bottom because I rarely use namespaces for my minor scripts anyway. And that's it. If you have resharper. If you don't have resharper, go to file. Uh, I should have something open. Go to file and export template and use that as templates. It was uh, a bit shorter video. 18 minutes. I hope you enjoyed it and have fun everybody. Bye-bye.